In this lab, most of the technology that we have is going to help us optimize the use of the unique samples that we are normally trying to analyze. The lab is divided into three rooms and each room is essentially more sterile than the previous one. The first room is where we enter. We put on clean clothing, um, overalls, gloves, um, gum boots, face shields, face masks. And this isn't to protect us from anything in the lab, it's to protect the samples we're working on from ourselves. We try to make it so that none of our skin is exposed because our skin cells are always shedding and, and this means that there would be DNA in the air and that's definitely one of the least things that we want in this kind of lab where we have samples that the DNA is so low in concentrations that any kind of extraneous DNA will be overpowering any kind of analysis that we do. Um, the second room is where we do sample preparation and the next room is where we do the ancient DNA work itself. And so the lab is positively pressurised. Outside the lab we have quite a large um, metallic box which is our air handling unit um, and so that draws air from the outside. It passes it through a series of HEPA filters to re remove dust and pollen and then it uses ultraviolet light to further sterilise that air before it comes into the lab. We are trying to find out how the Pacific rat impacted New Zealand's ecosystem once it arrived. And one of the ways that we are trying to elucidate its impact is by looking at its diet and how its diet changed through time. The DNA that we obtain from these fecal samples, which are, are, are quite tiny, they're five millimeters to 12 millimeters in length. The DNA is in very, very small amounts. It's very broken up and it's very prone to contamination, either from the environment or from DNA that's come off our own skin. Everything that we do has to pass through a UV chamber first, and that's quite different compared to other, other labs where you do any kind of DNA analysis. Uh, the other um, piece of technology we use to keep the lab clean is ultraviolet lights in the ceiling, and these are on sensors um, so that they can't come on when someone's in the lab, but they're also on timer, which means that about 2 a.m. every morning when no one's around, they'll come on for about one or two hours and they'll sterilise all the surfaces in the lab. One of the cool things about this project is that because we are looking at samples with around 800 years of age from the moment where the Pacific Rap arrived to New Zealand, we then have to be a little bit more creative in terms of the methods that we use because with those particular samples, now we are looking at ancient feces and therefore when we are doing DNA analysis on these samples we have to use methods that are particular for ancient DNA. In order to minimize errors and contamination we conduct our library preparation in-house and um, this is going to be one of the key components that's going to differentiate a ancient DNA lab from a modern DNA lab.